Start the Sovent stack by drawing a route line. We'll use a slope of one quarter inch per foot, starting at the lowest point of the piping and working our way up the stack. Next, place two dynamic layout blocks at the bottom of the stack's vertical. These blocks provide the typical configurations used to connect the aerator fitting. Add the de-aerator fitting to the stack by selecting an insert point on the vertical line, an alignment point below it, and a rotation point to match the orientation of the layout block. Adjust the riser for the pressure relief line by selecting one of the fitting configurations listed for the block. For this example, we'll use an upright Y. Change the pipe size from 4 to 3 inches and scroll down in the Solid Pipe Designer palette to locate and select the fitting from the palette. Place it in the model connecting it to the de-aerator fitting. Rotate as needed to match the orientation of the dynamic block. Copy the original route line to the pressure relief line riser location on the dynamic block. Adjust the second block to accommodate the spread of the route line using the first arrow grip to scale the block. Note that we have to flip the block to match the stack configuration. Use the second arrow grip to find an intersection of arcs based upon the relative location of the route line. The intersection located is the 8th bend fitting center point for the pressure relief line. Start a new route line from the stack's horizontal to the arc intersection point over to the vertical riser and terminate at the end of the upright Y. Erase the previous pressure relief route line. We will also erase one of the dynamic blocks. The other can be useful for modeling the location of floor penetrations. Make sure there is a vertex grip at the de-aerator center point and where the pressure relief line meets the stack's horizontal. Change the pipe size to 4 inch and populate the route lines. Select the appropriate cast iron waste and vent fittings at the current location indicated by the program. The pressure relief line will be 3 inches. Change the pipe size to 3 inches and add a clean out cap to the end of the upright Y. A coupling is automatically added just as before when the route lines were populated. Next, we'll select an aerator fitting from the palette and place it into the model above the D aerator fitting. Select the ABCD aerator configuration and set the rotation as shown. Zooming in, we'll add sloped route lines directly to the aerator fitting. The branch connections illustrate how easy it is to lay out solvent stack branch piping runs into a 3D model. Here we'll speed up the process of populating the branches with pipe and fitting. Finally, we'll extend the stack and add an inline offset. This is in lieu of an AB aerator fitting. The inline offset is composed of a quarter bend with two eighth bend fittings. That completes our model of a single solvent stack. We can generate a bill of materials to list all the components used to create it. To create the bill of materials, change to a paper space layout and create a viewport showing the entire Sovent stack. Activate the viewport model space. Start the bill of materials command, select the table style and desired filters and options such as mark for tagging components and press OK. A bill of material table is created and once the table is placed, the component tags will be displayed and can be adjusted as needed.